So we're back at Pete Waterman's layout. This is Thursday, it opens tomorrow. Um, I neglected to show you the colour lights <laughs> operating. So I thought today when we run some trains, I will just get uh, the colour lights operating. You can see them on the outer line. So we've got the controllers here. There are, there's a controller here, there's one in the middle and one at the far end. And we've divided this track into three blocks. And these colour light controllers, which is driving this light here at the moment, uh, has a block detector. So it's a current sense block detector that's wired to the track. And as soon as the train goes past the light and triggers the block detector, will automatically trigger the uh, danger signal. All of the light controllers are connected together, so they're communicating. So as the trains go down the track, it will correctly show the aspects, whether it's um, clear or danger or amber or, uh, or the double yellow. So we'll have a look at that when trains run. So here we have a signal controller. And this controller is connected to the track via a DCC occupancy detector. Here's the track feed coming in, it connects through to a little connector there. And this unit can either take a current sensing occupancy detector for DCC or it can be triggered via infrared as well. Though obviously with infrared you won't get the whole block detected, you'll just get a position. There's also provision here to drive a relay. And when the signal is set to danger, the relay will trigger, which can then trigger an automatic brake controller. So you can have the engines automatically stop in front of the signal if you have ABC equipped chips. The last thing that we did on this is we fully set all the lights here. So if I set danger, for example, with this button, all of the lights are modeled on the board as well. So even if it's, even if it's not connected to um, a color light signal, you'll be able to see if the units are working. If I pull back a bit, we've got a train on its way and we should be able to see all the colour lights working in sequence. So we're entering the block here. This should go to danger in a few seconds once it's passed into the block. Correctly, danger. Now as we are approaching the block, we're still in this block and we're going to attach to the new block in a second. So this will now trigger and set danger. And as this wagon leaves this block, then this will set to single amber. And finally, at the tunnel entrance, we've got special signal. So this is a repeater, a distant. So this is going to now set to amber. And then the signal controllers will communicate and we're now getting an amber in the middle and a double amber at the end, which I hope you can see on the camera. So we've done one line and would you believe they're actually wiring up the other tracks at the moment. So I hope that was useful on day two at Chester Cathedral. And uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, how it all works tomorrow when it opens for the public. Thanks for watching. See you again.